It's Monday, June 6, 2016, and if you've mastered all the beginner steps in using your new Oculus Rift VR headset, then today's the day to take things to the next level. Oculus Studios and Insomniac Games is making Edge of Nowhere available today, and they're calling it an unsettling psychological thriller. Just the thing you want while you're immersed in an Arctic landscape being chased by bugs and malformed humans. Good times. As you can see from the trailer, it's not a first-person POV game, you're more of an active observer. That may be a good thing, seeing as how there have been widespread reports of people getting a bit nauseous while using the Oculus. Edge of Nowhere will be joined by two more games this fall, Feral Rights and The Unspoken. Those sound like charmers as well. How about something a bit more upbeat, like My Little Pony meets Dora? Well, I guess there is that nausea thing you don't want to aggravate. If you've ever had your email or social media account hacked and hijacked, don't feel bad. The same thing just happened to Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg. No, his Facebook account wasn't hacked, but his little-used Twitter and Pinterest accounts were, at least for a short while. Zuck's passwords for both were apparently the same, and a hacking outfit calling themselves Our Mind Team apparently sussed them out using a LinkedIn password lifted from a data breach that hit the online resume service back in 2012. The culprits didn't post anything malicious on Zuckerberg's Twitter feed, aside from saying that they hacked the accounts, and Mark's people say the accounts have now been re-secured. So, hey, it's just one more reminder to mix up those passwords often. Remember this guy? Can you hear me now? Well, he's back, except this time he's talking smack about Verizon, not asking if you can hear him now, which we can. His real name is Paul Maccarelli, and Verizon retired those ubiquitous ads back in 2011 after a nine-year run. Really? Was it nine years? So, for whatever reason, and we can think of several million, he's now shilling for Sprint, claiming their network beats T-Mobile and is within one percentage point of the reliability of Verizon, which sits in second place behind AT&T. Great. Well, maybe if they paid actors less and lowered people's cell phone bills, they'd move up faster. Nah, never gonna happen. Check out the rest of the day's tech news at digitaltrends.com and be sure to check out our Facebook page and YouTube channel. We'll be back again tomorrow.